Okay, well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today on this exciting edition of Tech It Out with Vista. Uh, it'll be talking about the Dragon Naturally Speaking app. Uh, with us today to tell us all about uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking is Ian Ramos and Z Huang, and they're from Access Ingenuity. And so welcome both Ian and Z. Uh, we're glad to have you with us today and excited to uh, have you tell us all, all about Dragon Naturally Speaking. So the show is all yours. Okay, well, thanks so much, Bob. Um, as he mentioned, my name is Ian Ramos. I'm an assistive technology specialist with Access Ingenuity. And um, for those of you who were excited and signed up for last month's um, you know, event um, where I was supposed to speak, um, there was a, a calendar mix up and I totally goofed up and was not available. So to make up for that um, today, I brought with me um, an amazing assistive technology specialist who I work with. Um, he is a colleague, he's a friend, and um, he is an amazing JAWS user and also so is very familiar with how Dragon integrates uh, with JAWS uh, as a JAWS user. So I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you, Mr. Ian, for all your kind words. Um, my name is Z Wong, first name Z-H-I, last name H-U-A-N-G. Uh, like Ian, I'm an assistive technology specialist with Access Ingenuity. Unlike Ian, he's the expert on everything else. I, I just know a few things about JAWS. And, <laughs> um, you know, uh, but I also know Dragon because I both train it uh, specifically for JAWS users and I use it myself. Uh, helps me get those pesky reports and other paperwork done a lot faster. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, so just a, a quick uh, snippet about uh, who we are at Access, Access Ingenuity. We are an independent accessibility and consulting firm. We've been around since 2002. And um, it's funny, all, I see all the, a lot of the names on uh, on our meeting today, and I, I know a lot of you. Um, I've been with the company for about 16 years, and um, which has given me a great opportunity to um, rub elbows with um, the majority of the visual impaired community uh, here in Northern California. So um, hello to everybody who uh, who I know. <laughs> and um, so at Access Ingenuity, uh, really it's our mission to empower people with disabilities through the use of assistive technology and help them access accessible content. Uh, we also help clients make their documents and websites accessible uh, to folks with disabilities. And um, just a quick rundown of some of our services we provide. We do assistive technology training, website and document testing, uh, remediation, implementation support, and compliance monitoring. So we cover a lot of areas uh, of accessibility. Um, so uh, today we are, we're, we're gathered here today to, to discuss um, really the, the benefits and the use of Dragon Naturally Speaking. And I'm, I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming the majority of uh, our participants here uh, are also, well, maybe not the majority, but I'm sure we have some JAWS users as well. Um, and so uh, you know, I, I'm going to probably first talk about, you know, Dragon in general, what are the benefits of Dragon, um, the, the uses of it, and and then we'll also talk about, um, as a JAWS user, how a Dragon can be beneficial or what you need to be successful uh, using Dragon as a JAWS user. Um, it'd be interesting to know... Um, how many actual JAWS users we have here. And I guess we would only know that by, you know, um, saying, you know, I, 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 whatever. So, so I, I don't know if we, we can do that or maybe in chat, I mean, here we go. If you're, if you're able to in chat, maybe you can uh, say yes as a JAWS user, just so we, we kind of get an idea of who is. We, we actually have chat disabled for these. Oh, so okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we can't do that then. All righty, all righty. But, uh, but I'm a JAWS, JAWS user and a... And lower it, maybe. Uh, Oh, oh, that's that's true. That's true. Um, actually, yeah, we could do that. Why don't, why don't we do this? For everybody that is a JAWS user, if you could raise your hand, just so again, we know how to tailor this presentation to meet everyone's needs and uh, and really provide, you know, what information we can specific to you as a technology user or a JAWS user. So if you wanted to, if you raise your hand, um, uh, if you are a JAWS user. So if you are a JAWS user, 
if you could raise your hand. Okay, yep, yep, I see some some hand. I see one, one hand so far. Um, okay, well, do we just have one JAWS user? Two, okay, I see two, two, three, okay. I see three JAWS users, all right. They're, they're coming out of the woodwork now. Here we go, um, okay. So, uh, so not not as many Jaws. You have four. Okay, yep. We have Bob. Um, not as many Jaws users as uh, as I uh, as I thought. Okay, well that's that's just fine. Um, Either way, so, the techniques would work regardless. So that's, that's true. Okay. That's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Um, so. So a lot of you may already be familiar with dictation in general. Dictation, of course, is the technology that turns speech into text. It's very common on uh, technology such as your phones. Uh, probably a lot of you at some point have used dictation on your phone. It's very um, accessible, uh, you know, uh, by the means of, of everybody can do dictation. No matter what you do on your phone, every phone has dictation built right in. So it's it's there for you to access. So dictation is, is of course, um, as you speak, it then writes down uh, what you're what you're saying uh, as text, or um, uh, uh, you're using text uh, your your speech to control and command various aspects of technology. So to use again the phone as a good example, um, you know we can use um, Siri. Uh, which is, uh, you know, a, an iOS uh, virtual assistant uh, to perform various actions um, and, uh, it, so, and, and to give commands and control. So that's, that's kind of like, you know, a, a dictation in a way. It's, it's more for command and control. But then, you know, when we're in, let's say, an email or a text message, we have a dictation option. And so that simply um, turns the mic on on your phone. You then say what you want to say, and it writes down what you've said. So that's that's really kind of the, the, the basic example of dictation that a lot of you may already be familiar with. So Dragon, naturally speaking, is uh, the, the premier dictation application for the Windows environment. Now, when I say I the word, people say dragon, and, and sometimes they don't even mean it. They mean dictation. They say dragon. It's yeah, like, totally. They, you know, uh, oh, I'm using dragon. No, you're not. You're using some other tool. But you know, <laughs> oh, it's dictation. Isn't that dragon? You know, it's like the, the logo. You know, for dictation, especially. Yeah, it's it's Windows. a household name, right? Yeah, uh, that definitely. a lot of people use for uh, for dictation in general. So Dragon, naturally speaking, has been around uh, for quite some time, for, for decades now. And uh, it's gone through a number of, of uh, enhancements, iterations, uh, upgrades. And, um, you know, way back in the day when I first started with Access Ingenuity, um, Dragon uh, was, you know, was was there. It was it was OK. You know, it, it, it fit the bill for for very simple dictation. Um, but. Since that time, just in the last just in the last ten years, Dragon has gotten substantially better. And when I say better, with dictation, better means more accurate, yes. um, and and you know providing uh, some some more command and control features, which we'll we'll kind of break down in in a bit what the difference is. But it's all about accuracy because who wants to dictate? Uh, to their computer or their phone and have it write down stuff that you didn't say, right? And then have to go back and fix it. And it just, it's more time consuming. So we want more accuracy. We want it to get it nearly 100% right the first time. That's what's going to make it a, a more effective and more productive tool for our use. Um, so and I also want to uh, talk about, uh, you know, when I, I said, you know, Dragon is a premier dictation software for the Windows environment. Unfortunately, Apple has, um, you know, done done what what Apple likes to do. They like to keep as much, um, you know, development and and app control and and stuff in house. Meaning, you know, Apple oh, yeah. wants to do it. So, unfortunately, they discontinued their product called Dragon Dictate, which was uh, which also worked on uh, the the Apple environment um, or the Mac environment. 
they discontinued that a, a couple years ago, a few years ago now. Um, so unfortunately, we can't do that. Yes, Apple does have its own dictation, which which is pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Voice control. Exactly. Um, so you know, it, it does. It does. You know, work for a lot of folks, but it, it's definitely not Dragon. Naturally speaking, Dragon. Naturally speaking, has really done um, some amazing development, and it's it's definitely a, a you know the 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 world's best dictation software, um, uh, hands down. So. So Dragon, Dragon, naturally speaking, um, right now, I believe the newest version of Dragon is uh, Dragon version 16. And um, there's a couple different different versions or flavors of Dragon as, as well. Yeah, um, there are there, you know, Dragon, um, Dragon Home. Uh, they sell a Dragon Home or they, they, sometimes they go from Dragon Home to Dragon Premium. You know, they kind of those two are interchangeable sometimes. What one year they come out. Oh, it's Dragon Home next year. Oh, it's Dragon uh, Premium. So really, what what those two are? Those are are really for you know the home user looking for simple um, access to Dragon. It can accomplish you know for the basic home user, it can accomplish you know ninety percent of what you need it to do, and that is you know just simply provide dictation into uh, your desired application, such as Microsoft Word or you know Outlook for email. Um, even uh, you know if you, you if you access your your email via webmail, like if you go open up a browser and you go to yahoo.com or gmail.com and you uh, you know you you hit compose you bring up that new email you know you can use dragon to dictate that email um, so so dragon premium uh, or dragon home is is kind of their their entry level of version and then we jump up to dragon professional so uh, Dragon Professional, this is where we get into more specific um, um, you know, dictation um, sets where we have the ability for Dragon to integrate and utilize uh, uh, with advanced applications. Um, so for example, you are somebody that uses um, you know, like uh, I have a I have a, a person that does um, uh, is an Adobe uh, user, Adobe, uh, you know, some of the advanced Adobe apps and um, they are a heavy dragon user. And so uh, they there are some applications that require, um, you know, advanced uh, dictation, advanced vocabulary. So Dragon Professional is going to give that to you. And there are actually subsets of Dragon Professional that are specific for uh, for your needs, such as Dragon Legal. So Dragon Professional Legal, Dragon Professional Medical. So, you know, the, so they even break those down even further. And of course, those give you specific um, vocabulary that's relevant to that uh, that area. So legal terms, medical terms, it's just a, a broader, more vast vocabulary um, pool that Dragon knows so that when you are saying the word you know uh, the 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 advanced medical terminology for you know um, uh, uh, you know a, a cardiac arrest or something. You know, there's 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 a few different ways to say cardiac arrest in, in medical terms that get all you know crazy medical terminology that I I don't I can't even think about right now, but. Dragon knows those and can, you know, because so if you have specific versions, let's say you're a doctor um, and you are continually using advanced medical terminology, Dragon Medical is going to be a much better fit because it's going to know all of those medical terminologies. And, and the same thing for, for Dragon Legal. It's going to know all the legal terminology that may not be common in, uh, in you know, the core English language. Um, so, so again, there's the versions of Dragon that are specific to your, uh, to your needs. Now, I do, I do show a hand raised. So, do we want to answer that question now? So, uh, so Dean, yeah, uh, Bob, yeah. can I ask, can I ask the question? Go ahead, Dean. Oh, so uh, hi, my name is Dean. Do you have a drag in naturally professional for programmers? Oh, excellent question. No, there isn't a Dragon specific program for programmers that you know would then uh, utilize you know programming technology. So, no, you know I I I do have some programmers that use Dragon, although you know it can be 
it can be problematic, especially when you're actually doing, you know, code. <laughs> um, when you're writing code, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you know, coding, um, you know, symbols and terminology that are used, and it it can work, but um, you know, it, it's definitely a challenge. It's definitely more of a challenge. So, no, to answer your question in general, there is not a programming specific version of Dragon. But for what it's worth, if it's something, words that you use a lot that is a problem, you can add things to your own dictionary. Sure, sure. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about kind of some, some more advanced uh, tools that Dragon offers when it doesn't, it, it, when it's not fitting, you know, what you're needing right out of the gate. There are ways to really customize it um, to, uh, to make it work better for you. So in theory, you know, if there are specific, you know, uh, programming, uh, you know, vocabulary, vernacular, you know, uh, coding language that you um, typically use, you can actually train Dragon to recognize and work with that specific language. So, it, so in theory, you know, yes, you, you can actually kind of tweak the program to to meet your needs, which which we'll talk about here more more in in a bit. Sorry, Ian. Excuse me, real quick, Bob. Yeah. Would you like to hold for questions here um, once the presentation is done, or um, Ian, are you comfortable with? Pausing throughout the oh we're I mean we're we're totally flexible we we can we can roll with questions throughout so um yeah no problem okay perfect Bob do you have a preference if they're willing to take questions as it uh, perfect pr proceeds that's fine sounds good um I do see that Kit has her uh, hand raised Kit would you like to ask your question go ahead yes I had a couple of questions. You said there's dragon for legal, dragon for math, and are there dragon for a writer? That's the first question. The second question is how good is dragon on dictation? The, the reason I ask is Siri drive me crazy. It always, <laughs> it's something I didn't really say it and you had to go correct. So, mm -hmm. and the third question, it would Dragon read it back to me what it types? So I wouldn't have to feel it in my brain or trying to get jobs or listen to it. So those are the three questions. Okay, okay. So to address the first one, there's not a writer specific version of Dragon. There's actually only two kind of, um, uh, you know, vocational um, uh, or employment based, you know, versions, Dragon Medical and Dragon Legal. Um, but, you know, as a writer, let's say, um, you know, writers, they, they use a, a wide range of, of, of vocabulary, you know, of, of course, to, 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 you know, make their, their writing more interesting and dynamic. Um, so I, I have, uh, I have many dragon users who are writers, uh, that get by just fine with using just the dragon premium version, kind of the, the entry level version. Um, I have some writers who prefer the professional version, just, you know, again, when they're trying to integrate with, um, let's say, you know, uh, more advanced applications that they're running and whatnot. But, but for for all intents and purposes, you know, um, most of the time, Dragon Premium includes, you know, a lot of vocabulary. And, and again, that for most cases, gets you by just fine that that yes. Dragon Premium or Dragon Home version. Um, the the other so the other question is, um, uh, well, I remember the uh, the f the feedback, right? You know, when you when you uh, dictate, you know, how do you? Oh, the 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 question before was accuracy. You know, how well does it work? Yeah. So so Dragon works very very well. I would definitely say Dragon works better, much better than Siri for dictation. You know, there's a lot of factors that go into to Siri when you're dictating, right? You're using your phone for one. You know, your your phone's microphone when you're at a distance is is okay. You know, it, it kind of uses the, the speakerphone microphone and and you know it's it, it it works fairly well it's really not designed specifically for dictation you know we're just kind of using siri you know on the phone because the phone has a microphone but it's really a, a microphone that's not designed for you know, dictation uh and, and so the accuracy is really going to be hit and miss depending on how close you are to your phone again so many factors that go into successful dictation on a phone of course you know if you use a a headset via your phone you're going to have a better experience like a like a bluetooth headset or something because a headset you know um especially a 
a you know speech recognition headset specifically if it's designed for speech recognition guess what you're going to have better accuracy using uh, using Siri and dictation so so yes dragon uh, naturally speaking on a computer is much much better because it's really really it's a program that's designed for it and uh, and it, in conjunction with that it's always recommended to use a high quality microphone uh, for Dragon, because that's going to even increase your accuracy even better. So, as a companion to Dragon on your on your computer, it's imperative you also use a high quality um, microphone, you know, or headset, or you know, whatever whatever um, you know input you would like. As long as it's high quality, and um, really, a lot of them are designed for speech recognition. So, if you get one that's focused on that. You're going to have uh, a really a solid, accurate experience with Dragon. You mind if I chime in real quick? You bet. All right. Um, it also comes down to um, there's some things you have to do, as Ian kind of alluded to, right, Ian? So mm -hmm. here's what not to do. Don't open your laptop lid and then put your face to the top of the monitor and sh start shouting at it. It's not going to be as good. <laughs> right? Definitely not. It has a microphone built in, but that's not what you really want to do it with. Also, if you're a JAWS user, I really suggest that you go with a headset because JAWS uh, will read it back to you if you configure it correctly, which we'll get to. That kind of partly answers the third question, right? We'll read it to you. But if you are doing it with a loudspeaker, guess what? JAWS is going to shout it back out loud. Oh. It is going to go back into your microphone, and that, that's going to be a problem. Oh, right? no. <laughs> Right. So to answer the question is, I, if you're a JAWS user and you use Dragon and it's set up that JAWS does read things back, which can be done, which we'll talk about, I suggest you use a headset, which I am using today, both on the Zoom and for the demonstration later, because uh, I don't want my stuff to be dictated twice. Right. So, <laughs> um, so that's something else. The other thing is, uh, the, uh, Dragon does have great correction tools, whereas uh, the thing that often drives me crazy with Siri is if it got one word wrong after I wrote Ian a, a daggone paragraph, you got to correct the whole thing all over again. Nothing more irritating, right, Ian? Hell yeah. So with Dragon, <laughs> you just need them to tell them to correct that one word in question if it does happen. So that's something to be mindful of. And we'll, we'll provide that example. Uh, again, it's optimized for dictation, as Ian said. It yes. is optimized for it. It is meant for it. The other thing is more secondary at best. So, mm -hmm. and the other thing though, is I would suggest you also, there are things you have to do, like get the right equipment, also learn the technique. You really want to include punctuation because it doesn't know, or if you wanted to try to guess, it, it's not quite there yet. So you really want to speak the punctuation, learn how to say things a specific way. It is flexible in, to some extent, but to another, you know, it, it will be something you learn. You may need training or you might just need trial and error in the beginning. So a quick question, is that yeah. free trial period? <laughs> Oh, um, so a free trial of Dragon. You know, that, that was a good question, Kit. Um, I, you know, Dragon used, know used to, to, yeah, Dragon used to offer uh, a, a trial version um, of their product, but they've really kind of been getting away from that. But I think, um, I think they still, let's see, do they still offer um, a, a trial. You know what I'll do is is uh, throughout our presentation today, um, I will I will see if they still offer that because I heard it was going away, but um, but then I also heard that uh, it was still available um, in some situations. So um, so I, I'll I'll see if, there, if there's a uh, a trial av available, and I'll let you know by the end uh, here today. I, I will say this to what I read, Ian. Dragon's also really going into the subscription model. Yes. Something. So if they do that, at the least, you could probably do a lesser subscription to try it, if nothing mm -hmm. else. Right. Yeah. That's just just a thought. That is something Dragons really, really trying to do, um, because after all, Dragons with Nuance, and for those who don't know, Microsoft bought Nuance some years ago. So you know, whatever Microsoft ends up doing with that. Yeah. You know what? So uh, I am on the website, and it looks like. Um, they do offer a a um, a one week trial. Uh -huh. It's a short um, one. So, I remember that. 
Yeah, so yeah, so it's a one week trial. Um, you've got to have a credit a, a credit a credit card on file. So, you know, it's one of those trials that they they hope that you're gonna you know obviously they're gonna hope that you're gonna like it and keep it. But the fact that they ask for a credit card means you know they're also maybe hoping that you sign up for just to try the trial and then you kind of forget about it and you know six months later you're like why am I getting charged? Oh my goodness. Um, so that that's kind of a a, a tricky thing that they you know a lot. Of these companies that they, they do with when they offer trials is, oh, here's a trial, but we need your credit card just to, you know, just in case. And then, you know, so, uh, so yes, looks like there is a one week trial available. Just be careful. You, there is a credit card required. And if you don't, if you know, don't just don't forget about it. <laughs> yeah, and I do see that Dean has one more question. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. I, yeah, the, no, I got a question. Is, uh, is, is this only subscription or can yeah, I decide uh, it all right? Ah, excellent question. So, um, so subscription versus perpetual. So there are still uh, perpetual uh, versions of, of Dragon. Perpetual means you buy it, it's yours, you know, for forever, you know, however long it works. Um, so there are still plenty of those perpetual versions, although, as Z mentioned, you know, the trend in software is to move to migrate everybody over to a subscription model. Now, I haven't heard uh, definitively if Nuance is going to be doing that or you know have they given enough dates you know for making that migration all the way you know 100% uh, subscription based users i that there's still plenty of options to purchase the perpetual versions and you can get that online you can get that i've seen it at costco i've seen it at um, you know uh, any electronic consumer you know uh, best buy target you know office depot staples um, in their software sections that they're sh very sh shrinking software <laughs> sections because again everyone's going to, to online um, they still offer dragon so it's 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 definitely available uh for for in either model both subscription as well as perpetual Amazon, download as well yeah yeah yep yep absolutely oh, yeah and i got a question um yeah. i know a lot of dr doctors use dragon and they don't they're not like uh, mobile mobility uh impair so yes, they, they're not going to carry their laptop while they're like dissecting something or doing surgery. <laughs> but you say uh, the Dragon actually work best with desktop. So how does those people who are like on the go all the time who need to dictate? Yeah, so so excellent. They use? Uh, like they don't yes. use their phone right? because that's Siri and you said the mm -hmm. mic's not that good, right? So mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. would they do that if they're on the run or they're always on the go. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Excellent question. So um, 90% of, of um, at least that I've worked with, um, as far as medical professionals, you know, doctors, um, uh, they use Dragon primarily for uh, for case notes. So they use it for, you know, post-op reporting um, or diagnosis reporting. So what that means is that, you know, they'll have performed, let's say, a surgery, a, an operation, or met with a client and and it provided, um, uh, you know, direction, you know, medical uh, information, and then what they'll do is they will then uh, make a report using Dragon. So they won't necessarily use it right then and there as they're in the operating room, let's say, or, or working with the client. Some use it when working with the client. I've I've uh, I've encountered, but the majority use it for. Uh, for post-op reporting or post, uh, excuse me, post um, uh, meeting reporting, like diagnosis reporting, so that's that's where it comes into play. And, and of course, you know, they can use their their laptop, their desktop, wherever they are. You know, there is a way to to kind of quickly make. Uh, you know, what they can do um, is they can actually use a voice recorder. So they can use their voice recorder. Um, sometimes actual surgeries are recorded. So they actually have a recorder in their pocket or in the room. So actually during the procedure, let's say, you know, let's say there, you know, I've, I've, you know, bisected, uh, bisected the, the lateral, you know, atrial uh, as I've, you know, peeled back the, you know, not to get too graphic here. Um, you know, so they actually typically doctors will actually explain what they're doing as they're doing it uh, when they're performing surgeries, let's say. And they'll record that, and then what they can do is they can then bring that recording, plug it into their computer at any time, and Dragon will transcribe that recording and put it into text. So it's pretty awesome. So it, it, it can be both real-time recording via a, a voice recorder, and then later on, they plug it into their computer and actually transcribe it. 
or they can simply, you know, um, based off of, off of just their memory, you know, later on, they can, um, you know, re uh, write a report using Dragon, uh, you know, on their computer. So but I need to specify, though, it, it, it mm -hmm. is great, but, you know, it, it does require, again, some work and you do need mm -hmm. to create a separate profile for uh, using a previous recording to have mm -hmm. Dragon do the stuff versus live dictation. So Absolutely. Are, so if you plan to do it, you do need to set up both profiles. So yes. So work does, is involved. Mm -hmm. um, so I think for Dragon, Ian, perhaps if you're okay, I'm going to transition to linking it with JAWS. Um, let, you know what? Let's uh, let, let me. More dragon specific. Yes, yes. Because uh, you know, it looks like primarily a, a lot of our users are are just you know, um, they they aren't Jaws users, mm -hmm. uh, and, and Dragon is quite involved. Then this can actually tie over to you know when, when we bring in Jaws and and the program that Jaws you know needs to work with Dragon. I think this will this will tie in nicely. Um. So, you know, of course, you know, Dragon Dragon is an all inclusive command control and dictation program. So when I say command and control, we've we've just been talking about dictation, right? The ability, you know, when we're when we're speaking, we say, you know, I'm, I'm writing an email to Z. So I say, you know, hi Z, comma, new line. I hope you're doing well today. Period. The weather outside looks rainy. Comma, I hope you packed an umbrella, period. Right. So that's dictation. And you know, as you heard, I, you know, I dictated my punctuation, which is is you know critical with Dragon. Um, but that gives you just an example of what dictation is. We wanted to, to we want to say what we wanted to write down. Now, command and control, this is something that Dragon is also very, very good at. And uh, and for uh, for a lot of situations, um, it's just as important as simple dictation. So when I say command and control, I mean actually controlling and commanding the computer uh, to do things I want it to do, such as actually you you heard for those of you who were here earlier when before we officially kicked off, you may have heard Z say open Microsoft Word. Right. Um, so he was actually giving the computer a command to open an application. Um, so we can do that with Dragon. We can give it commands and controls to open up, you know, applica any application we want to open Microsoft Word, open Google Chrome, open Microsoft Outlook. And so by doing so, we then, you know, uh, you know uh, take more of the power to our voice versus having to use our mouse, find the, um, you know, the uh, uh, Microsoft Word application, double tapping, or, you know, using our keyboard, hitting our start menu, typing the word Outlook, and pressing enter, right? So we can now use our voice to open up applications. And, um, and then as far as the control aspect of it, uh, we can control uh, where our focus is, where our cursor is. We can even control where our mouse is using Dragon. So um, really, the, the command and control aspect of, of Dragon is designed uh, to aid somebody who has absolutely no input, uh, manual input control. So let's say somebody, they can't use a mouse. And they can't use a keyboard either. Either I've I've worked with individuals who have um, no you know motor control of their hands whatsoever. I, I've worked with somebody who actually didn't have any hands. They lost their hands in a machinery accident, and um, so um, so th th there are no hands to interact with a mouse or a keyboard. So using uh, of course Dragon is going to be a critical component to their computer access, and it is amazing what can be done using Dragon with just simply your voice. They, it, they're, they're really, there's really nothing that you can't do. Um, you can actually move the cursor or move the mouse with your voice using um, a component called Mouse Grid. Um, so you can actually move the mouse with your voice to a specific area of the screen. You can then, you know, say, you know, a left click, right, or right click, or you know, double left click. Um, so, so again, right, there are there are no limitations there for for what you can do in applications. You can work with many applications and using your voice alone move to various 
components of that application. You can move to a specific button. You can move to a specific link and activate that link. You can move to a specific data field. And this is huge. This is where I see probably the majority of my uh, command and control users use it for data management, for data input. So they're trying to, let's say, work with um, a, 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 an online uh, form, and that, you know, that has different fields that you can type data into, like dates, you know, na first name, last name, date, social security number, um, you know, anything, anything that requires text input into a field, you can use Dragon to navigate to a specific field that you want. And then, of course, use your voice to enter the data, to, to speak the data that goes into that field. So it's really, really an incredible program. I do see a hand up. Go ahead, Looks like You're Yeah, could you give, like, it for me, Tom? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, could you give like an example of like buying a shirt? I mean, do you say go to www Macy's search a men's shirt, purple, long sleeve, buy, purchase? You know, how do you? Could you give yeah. an actual example? Of just buying awesome. a shirt. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Um, so, you know, again, you know, there, there's lots of different ways to purchase things online, right? There's lots of, you know, browse. We, we need to, first of all, you know, choose a browser to use, you know, choose a website to use. So, um, you know, there are a number of, of shortcuts, but just in general, I'll give you an example of, uh, of you know, uh, what you can do to, uh, let's say, go through a, a shopping experience. And again, this will vary widely depending on, you know, what, uh, you know what you prefer um, as far as a browser level, the the website level, the um, you know uh, how you want to uh, you know kind of kind of do that. So um, so of course with with Dragon we would first uh, tell Dragon to open up our preferred browser. So we could say you know open Google Chrome. Of course that's going to open up Google Chrome. We could then, uh, li like you suggested, we could then simply, uh, you know, say uh, shopping for a purple shirt or, um, you know, um, if we have a specific brand in mind, we could say Eddie Bauer purple shirt or purple dress shirt or purple collared shirt. You know, the more specificity you input the better and more tailored results you're going to get. And of course, that's, that's you know, a, a general concept of browsing in general. When we, when we go to Google, right, the more specific we are with our Google search, hey, the more specific and tailored results we're going to get. And so, again, the, the same concept uh, applies using Dragon. Right. We can, you know, let's say we open Google Chrome and we're at the, the Google search field. We could then say, um, you know, purple collared shirt by Eddie Bauer for twenty five ninety nine or for under thirty dollars, let's say. Or, well, being Eddie Bauer, it may not be under thirty dollars, <laughs> but uh, you, you get the drift. So, again, specificity will uh, will give us more specific results. So let's say, again, open Google Chrome. Purple collared shirt from Eddie Bauer for under sixty dollars. Press link, or excuse me, click link. When I say click link, what that's going to do is that's going to number all of the results that I now have up on my screen uh, for you know those those various Eddie Bauer shirts. So when I say click link, it's going to number the links. I'm then going to say I'm going to say you know let's say that the the first result it looks pretty promising. It's it it's a let's say result on the Eddie Bauer website for purple colored shirts. So of course I'll say choose one because it's it's numbered the links. It will then take me to you know that link. Hey, if it if it looks good, right? I can then say click add cart, right? Because on the web page is going to be that add to cart button. And that's a pretty standard, you know, universal website shopping um, button or, or, or you know, uh, action is adding to cart. So I would use Dragon to emulate my mouse 
click clicking that button right and that that's an important concept that really you know ho ties into answering this question tom is you know dragon you can emulate anything you can click or press uh, click on a mouse or press with your keyboard so online shopping right it's 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 a very it can be a very visual experience of course we can use jaws as well which we're going to be you know we can then utilize keyboard emulation but for let's say a mouse user it can be as simple as saying, click add to cart. And then we could say, click go to cart. And it's going to emulate us using the mouse, clicking on, you know, adding the cart, clicking on us going to cart. And then, of course, once we're in the cart, right, typically we have a, what do we have? We have a checkout button, right? So, hey, we're going to use Dragon and we're going to say, click checkout. Boom. It would then, you know, click the checkout button and then you know it would take us maybe to some payment information which again right we can use dragon to um, you know to, to say click payment information or click payment field uh, it would then you know give us the option to to click you know that field which then we could dictate what information it requires so um so it does, does, Jaws, it, does, does go ahead Jaws tell me because i'm a first time buyer at eddie bauer does it say print first name and then ah um, quite okay a bit involved in that i think we'll, yes we'll, we'll get into it but let me yes let me, if if you don't mind Ian, i just want to say this you bet i had a feeling tom was a jaws user okay um, something told <laughs> uh, me let me let me tell you a little of my history i my eyes tell me that i need to use jaws or fusion which is another question and so that's i'm a zoom text guy for 30 years mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So what it comes down to is this, um, I, and I want to ask Ian this question. Ian, there are many people who say they have to use JAWS, right? Mm -hmm. And they say, well, if I get Dragon, I don't have to learn any JAWS concepts. I could just go on and use Dragon and that's it. Is that oh, a good idea? No. Absolutely <laughs> not. So I, I want to let you guys know this because there are many people going to say, oh, JAWS has too many commands and too many things. You're going to need to still, if you don't press the commands, you're going to have to tell Dragon to do it. Okay? Yes. Uh, here's another example. Ian brought it up. And what Ian says is, is all true. But Ian also knows what he's doing. Let's be honest with that, right? Yep. So if you need to know how to do it yourself, you need to learn all of that. Will JAWS say everything automatically? No. You have to be able to go for it. You have to tell it to scan for an edit box. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, have to understand the concepts of form, forms mode. Ian also brought up something. He opened Google Chrome. He probably had it open on a blank tab. So he's on the address and search bar, right, Ian? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some person may have their browser set up with a home page. So guess what, Ian? You might not be at the address in search. Sure, you're sure. You're going to have to say press control L or yep. press alt D because mm -hmm. those are the hotkeys that go to the address in search bar. Okay? Yes. You need to know those things. See, here's the one thing to note. If you think you're going to use a screen reader and it's there to tell you it's going to do everything automatically and you just talk to it with Dragon, uh, you you will need to learn the concepts. <laughs> you really yes. do need to learn the concepts. So, um, you know, you still need to read. You, you may have to tell it, you know, press insert down arrow so you can read it. And you can, you know, either tell it to pause it or press the control key. You still need the commands, okay? That's, uh, that's right. And you need the concepts. Ian also brought up, he gave a very specific example, but there are lots of nuances involved. Like I said, mm -hmm. if you open a new blank tab, you open Chrome, you go ahead, dictate the information and activate it. But if you're not on the address bar, because mm -hmm. you have a, a home page that's completely not a search engine, which is possible, some people do that, then you need to tell it to go to the address bar. That's right. And to answer the question, I think if you use Fusion, Fusion is a combination of JAWS and Zoom Tech. So the way to deal with it would be the same as dealing with JAWS in conjunction with Dragon, which we, we will get to. Yes, yes. And, you know, I, I think at this point, maybe it's a good idea, um, you know, uh, to transition over to, you know, because as a JAWS user with Dragon, there's still going to be lots of, of core Dragon concepts that we're going to be covering. But we're now going to be, you know, kind of focusing and bringing in the JAWS users to find out how, as a JAWS user, you can also be successful with Dragon.
So, um, uh, are, are you cool, Z, with the transitioning over to oh, yeah. Jaja? Okay, awesome, so, awesome. So, just to kind of set the stage, you know, as Z mentioned, you know, if you're a Jaws user and you think, oh, I'm just going to install Dragon and I can I can use it, you know, just just as, as it is. Not the case. There is there is a. Um, I mean, you can Z mentioned using a headset and you can configure Jaws, but uh, there's a there's a program that makes this. Uh, t that ties everything together much better. <laughs> before before we do that, Ian, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, I'm, yep. I'm going to get out of my soapbox a little bit. Excellent. Okay? Um, for the, those who are blind and visually impaired and need to consider a screen reader, there's a stereotype that goes around, Ian. Oh, yes. Heard of this. Uh, you're blind, uh, so you must talk to your technology, and that's the only way to use your technology. It drives me crazy, okay? <laughs> because the, primarily, as a blind individual, you need a screen reader. You need voice output, right? You need mm -hmm. a screen mm -hmm. reader to read it to you. But there's a major stereotype that you need to talk to your computer. Well, I'm not saying you don't want to talk to your computer. You might want to talk to your computer and use something like Dragon. But let me ask Ian a question, Ian. Okay. Um, if I can only have one, either a screen reader talk to me or me dictate to the computer, and I can only have one, which one is it? Hmm. I need the computer to talk you to need me. To, yeah, exactly. You yep. need that you know, audio feedback. Yep. That's the first thing, mm -hmm. right? And some people never use dictation. It's not saying that you shouldn't, okay? It's beneficial and it enhances it, but try doing dragon only and no speech feedback. Not very good, <laughs> right? No. So, so yes, a blind person can use dragon, but it's not the first stereotypical misleading, you know, blind people need to talk to their machines. Well, once I talk to the machine, if I don't know what's going on, what happens then? Yeah, you know, yep. they, I, it drives me crazy of how many phone people sell a blind person a phone. You talk to Siri, don't teach him voiceover. Just talk to Siri, right? Oh my <laughs> goodness, right? So <laughs> same concept here, right? You need to learn the screen reader. You really need to learn the screen reader. That's the first thing. So I'm assuming those understand what uh, that Jaws is a screen reader, and Fusion uses the Zoom Text magnifier in conjunction with the speech of the Jaws screen reader. OK, so that is what you you need primarily the screen reader. If you have uh, little to no vision, that's the first thing you can benefit from Dragon. But if you use them straight up for the person who asks, will Jaws read your feedback? If you only use Dragon and Jaws, Ian, will it? Mm, no, no, no. And nope. then you will have to do the annoying use your arrows or do something else to make jaws read it you don't want that right <laughs> yep. so you have one of two choices here one's called j say and the other's called j dictate okay yep. they're both made by uh Hodgkin consultancy okay um now you might say well what's the difference right ian mm -hmm. j say is the everything product right by everything it means it supports every single thing dragon does Okay, that means all commands, all whatever. This the ideal customer for this, Ian. I would say is the 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 one group you mentioned, those who use Jaws and have little to no use of their hands. Yes. Okay. Th this J say supports Dragon to the point of, you know, saving the profile, shutting down the computer, uh, mm -hmm. restarting it, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have li limited to no use of your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the while it's a great tool, Ian, the more you do, the more complication there is, right? Oh yes, not that yes. it's bad, but can things go wrong once in a while? Oh sure, yeah, because you're dealing with the more you do, the more complicated it is. That's the truth, <laughs> right? Yep. But uh, and uh, and there's been a lot of people over the years, Ian, that they say, "Oh, I recommend this person get Dragon Jaws and J C," and we find out, well, why do they want to do it? Because they want to dictate. Yeah. Okay. They, but do they have use of their hands? Yes. But once in a while, they want to dictate information or they might not want to do some basic commands. So they have use with their hands. Yes, they do. Well, is J say necessarily the right option for that, Ian? No. Nope. Little known about this, but J dictate is made by the same maker. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has less requirements. As a matter of fact, I don't know if this has changed, but J say is also very specific to the version of Dragon you must use. Yes. Okay. Yep. Whereas J Dictate allows you to go and pick up that one from Amazon or, or Best Buy and it's fine. 
Okay, mm -hmm. because it, it, the, the complicated big dragon is not even going to be fully supported with every single command. So J dictate is the one you really want. So Z yeah. has use of his hand, but he has a uh, tendonitis. Okay, mm -hmm. so Z is okay with J dictate in general. Okay, mm -hmm. most people who can use commands, but maybe imagine this, Ian. Uh, as much as I run my mouth, I dictate a lot faster than I can type it out. I still oh. type 40, 50 oh, yeah. words a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, and that's okay. But uh, if I got a thought and I want to get it out there, I want to, I write notes, I write reports, I, I want to get it out there. Then I, I, I much prefer the dictation. Okay. And mm -hmm. it is much more, here's the big key of a productivity tool. Yes. Yeah. It is a productivity tool. So you do need to have jaw if for the jaws users you need jaws dragon and either j say or j dictate and in most cases dictate is efficient and dictate even supports that uh recorder extra profile business now you mm -hmm. have to buy the version of dragon that supports it because there is a lower version of dragon that doesn't support that mm -hmm. so you got to be careful with that again do the research and do the thing um, and also, though, J Dictate or J Say is another product you do need to purchase. Uh, no surprise, J Say does cost more than Dictate because it does more. Mm -hmm. Any questions on differentiating that? There is a hand up. Okay. Go ahead, Kit. <laughs> okay. How is Dragon? Here on dictation uh, for people who has an accent like myself, for people have a somewhat difficult to speak. Mm, that's a excellent question. question. Yeah, excellent question. Yes. So Dragon has that well in hand. So what, when you initially set up Dragon, it actually uh, walks you through a, a setup wizard that allows you to choose specific accents. So there, there are a lot of accents. Um, so it, right out of the gate, Dragon can know, hey, you have you know this type of accent or that type of accent. So um, so yeah, absolutely, it it. it accommodates um, almost every, I mean, I, I've encountered, you know, I probably only use maybe maybe a total of 10 of the accents available, but there are a lot of well, accents available. Forget about language. They have a Southern accent. They have a teenager's voice in case your <laughs> voice is changing. Okay? So, so you're covered. Okay. Absolutely. The other thing is you will also not just choose the accent, but you will give a voice sample in the beginning to create. Remember I said you need to create a voice profile for the voice recording and for your primary profile for live dictation. Well, for that primary profile, it's going to ask you to provide an example and say a certain amount of things until it's satisfied to create that basic profile. Mm -hmm. Also, one thing is going to be uh, noted throughout your time. It wants to update your profile. It saves the stuff you do when you ask to make corrections, because it does happen, especially more at the beginning. It's going to remember what the kind of words you say, the things you do. OK, that, that that's where it, it's really, really handy when it comes to that. Uh, throughout the time, it's going to do updates to give you more improvements. It's also going to take some of the words you use that are maybe unique to you and ask, do you want to add those to your vocabulary? Yeah. So what I, what I always like to say with Dragon, it's a learning program. So as you use it more, it learns your accent. It learns how you say specific words. So let's say you say a, a you know complicated sounding word. It gets it wrong. You go back, you fix it. It then learns. OK, you know, now I know that when Kit says, you know, the word extraordinary, you know, she means I mean, that's a bad example. because That's a pretty that's a pretty easy word to, to pick pick out. But, you know, you, you say a word, uh, you fix it. It now knows, OK, the next time she says this word, ah, I know what that word is now. And it gets it right. So it's a learning program. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of creepy in a way that it, it learns from you and develops, it develops a relationship with you. And, uh, you know, as you progress, as you, as you use it more, it gets better and better because it, it, it becomes your friend better and better. And so if, if I say Mediterranean and I would not think, oh, she mean Mediterranean. <laughs> yes. But if I correct it, then next time I say Mediterranean, 
they will yes. know mm -hmm. it's exactly. not Mediterranean. Yes, Ex exactly. And, and if it really is something you can't get right, there's also a spelling tool. So you could say spell and a box comes up and it will basically prompt you to phonetically spell it. <laughs> yes. So yeah. that's I, what I'm saying. When Ian said there's a lot of tools, we, we probably couldn't go through every single tool, right, Ian? But there's oh, no. Goodness, no. Uh, I, had to, can... I had to get a trial version to try it out before I asked so many things. No, that, that's fine. <laughs> but remember you, this, too. If you happen to be a JAWS user, please make sure that you don't not just get the trial version of Dragon, but you need the trial version of JDictate. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. it, it also has a trial. So you want to get those two in conjunction because they both have an expiration. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, other, other mm -hmm. hand. I think Tom was the next yeah. one up, I think. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, real quick, out of the box, like with startup, when I've had Dragon in the past, I don't know if it's easier, better, or you can just get going, but I just, kind of rigged it and had somebody whisper in my ear what I was supposed to read. Is mm -hmm. there a way to get going, you know, ah, kind of ineffective? Yes. yes. So, so you're, you're correct. In the past, Dragon, you required you to read like, you know, a, a quite a long excerpt from, you know, um, from some predetermined texts like Alice in Wonderland. Um, there was, um, you know, so, some um, some comedy, like some tech comedy stuff from, I forget his, his name, but yes, yeah, so it, it had you read a, quite a bit of length. Not the case anymore. Dragon has advanced to where it only needs some initial, um, you know, uh, uh, words from you. Yep. Basically, you know, like, you know, I am using, you know, Dragon to understand my voice. I will communicate yep. clearly and naturally. Just maybe a, a paragraph or two is all it needs at this point, which, uh, but, you know, as a, as a JAWS user, right, you mentioned having, you know, having somebody whisper it into your ear, right? Yeah, that, <laughs> so, that would mess up your profile. Yeah, absolutely, because <laughs> it, it could pick up some of that, right? So as a JAWS user, um, you know, with, with you know, uh, J say or J dictate, um, there is a way around that. You know, I, I can't think of the last time I, I had to I, do that. Z, have you yeah, done that? Okay. Let me tell you. So the, the J say J dictate manual suggests you do the following if you can't think of anything to say. Because there's nothing worse than you kind of trying to wing it, right, Ian? And then you kind of go <laughs> halfway saying something and then you don't know what you're saying and oh, that's yeah. not going to help the profile, right? So yep. he suggests saying some obvious facts. Monday is the first day of the week. Tuesday is the second day of the week. Wednesday is the third day of the week. Or, you know, do it with months, right? Something, uh -huh. you know, January is the first month of the year. Yeah, it's repetitive, silly stuff. But you know what? It's factual things that you know, right? And yeah. you're just So I say can it. make it up? I can yes. make it up instead of reading a script? Yes. yes. That's where we're going. You can make it up. But just make up something that you really have a pattern. So pick some factual things. That was the recommendation from the JSA slash J dictate developer just pick some factual things that is going to make you talk long enough until it says your profile is finished and it's going to take maybe you know three four days of the week or a couple of months in the year uh equivalent to do it so yes that that's all you really need to do you you just keep going and and do it something else when ian talked about microphone many of you probably heard of noise canceling headphones right ian Yes, but the 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 other important thing is we can talk about high, uh, decent, high quality um, microphones. But one factor is there's such a thing as a noise canceling microphone. That is really something you want to consider. Because, Absolutely. Uh, you talk about that person whispering. There are microphones. Some people say, "Oh, I got this best audio microphone, great for the studio." Well, that may not be the best yeah. for your dictation. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, so so Dragon no longer requires a script to be set up. Yeah, um, and then for sorry. now or later oh. to ask a recorder question, I don't want to offshoot whenever that is best. Okay. Great, thanks, Tom. Oh, uh, Farhang, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. I am a little bit late in attending this class. All right, I've got a couple of questions. I have JAWS 2023. Can I buy a separate Dragon Dictate and 
combine them together or I have to buy JAWS with the Dragon Dictate and JC and J Dictate? You can buy them separately. That's an easy question. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I always yeah. ask easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple. Uh, it, what's nice about this is, I mean, that, that would really annoy somebody, huh, Ian? You must buy the full package. Oh, you yeah. You don't Goodness. have a part. So any piece bits, uh, you're, you're welcome to get, um, you know, if you got Dragon and you, uh, you didn't realize you needed J Dictate, you can buy that separately. Heck, they're, they're actually all three different manufacturers even. So yeah, no yeah. big deal. They don't care. If, if you find Dragon at the, you know, at, at, at the, no at the, at Costco for a deal, right? Hey, pick it up. You know, you don't need to get it all together. Yeah, absolutely. So Dragon is separate. J Dictate is separate. And JC is a different thing. They're three different programs. Yes. yes. But, but you don't Software. get J Dictate and J, JC. You get one or the other. They're, the, they're from the same manufacturer. J Dictate is the one many probably will benefit from. If you have little to no use of your hands and you uh, need every command, then you consider J Say. But if you can use some keyboarding and you are a JAWS user, you are probably going to be okay with J Dictate. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Any idea what's the price? The high end one? The high end uh, one is uh, the J Say. Ian, do you know off the top of your head? Oh, the J Say. Um, what is the J Say? Um, several hundred, like five, six. Yeah, Something boy. Along that line. It's somewhere around there, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'll, see if, I'll see if I'll see if I can I'll see if I can get prices by the end of our session today. Yeah, and and, and, and the J Dictate. It's in the uh, double high double digits, so about yeah. hundred or so. Yep. Yep. Oh. So there's, there's, there's that much of a difference. And also, if you missed it, J say is going to require a more specific version of Dragon, whereas J dictate is more lenient. Yes. So, so just just oh. FYI, uh, J say costs four sixty three. So four hundred sixty three dollars. And uh -huh. um, J dictate is. I just just had it up here here we go is um oh it's only 72 dollars yeah i was gonna say it's under 100 yeah that was pretty okay. good. nice and, but something to note is um the manufacturer is in the uk so it, it is a conversion rate from mm -hmm. pounds I believe. Oh, okay. so that change that changes every so often just a tad yeah um yeah also um all these do need updates so um you will need to update them or pay for a minimum fee for an update after a while Okay. If you want to, uh, but, to catch up with everything. So if I buy J Dictate, I should already have Dragon speaking. Dictate includes the Dragon speaking. I don't understand. Ah, uh, so so J Dictate and J Say are separate programs. Um, so you would need right. uh, as a Jaws user, you need to buy Jaws unless you already have it. You would need to buy Dragon, naturally speaking, and j dictate or j say now some some manufacturers um uh, or some you know vendors uh, like us we can do like a package right so we can you know we can say hey you need uh, you're a jaws user you, you need uh, access to dragon so you need j dictate and dragon naturally speaking so we can you know provide a package uh, with both of them for you know some slight cost savings but they are you know different separate programs oh okay okay got it all right. Thank you very much for all the information. Mm -hmm. C and Ian. Thank you yeah. very much. You're welcome. I don't see any other hands raised, so let's uh, let's roll on. Okay. And um, I, I, I again, Ian mentioned that there are uh, you need a high quality microphone. Um, I will tell you that this, you know, not not to sell any specific one, but our experience, Ian, I would say that the Andrea Communications is listed as one of the higher quality ones by nuance themselves. Yeah, so. yep. Andrea Andrea mics are really, really great for dictation. Probably the best. Yes, that's actually the one I'm talking to you with right now and the one I will be demonstrating momentarily. Ah, excellent. Yep, yep. and they have different varieties. Um, oh, um, I will say for JAWS users, something to really be mindful of, Ian, uh, JSay and JDictate, currently does not support the Bluetooth slash wireless models. Ah, so yes. Do, I forgot to say this. It is important. Don't buy a uh, Bluetooth headset. You you really want a wired headset microphone. Mm -hmm. okay? um, mm -hmm. So again, like I said, these are things you really want to know. Um, yep. Maybe that will change one day, but at this time, that, that is your ideal way to go.
Yes. Um, uh, okay, so. so get, yeah. I'm Farhang again. Uh -huh. How do we get in touch with you? Yeah, so um, at, at the end, I mean, we'll, we'll provide our contact information if you have any, you know, questions, um, if you'd like to purchase. Again, like we mentioned at the beginning, we do uh, training as well. So if you want to, um, you know, not only purchase a program, but find out how to use it <laughs> by getting some training, we can provide that. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put up our, um, uh, well, actually, there's no, no chat. So uh, I will, um, you know, uh, tell you my my contact information, and uh, that way you can reach out to us if you if you need to. And just want to let know. email all the information to Bob so he can forward it to all sure. of us. Sure, yeah, definitely. That would be great. Thank just, you, thank you. Just to much. interject, we have about fifteen minutes left. Yeah, so um, I'm Kay. thinking. Uh, do thank the you, Bob. Medium? Yeah, you know what, um, what, let's do a quick demo. We're going to have actually Z, as a JAWS user, demonstrate um, a little bit about Dragon. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Um... Zoom okay. meeting, PC I cursor, blank, share preview. Yes, we can both see and hear your, your oh, screen. Sharing okay. meeting control. Now, if you notice, one other thing is for those who don't know, you can have different voices with JAWS. So I have chosen not to go with the more robotic speech of eloquence. I've gone with a voice that a lot of people may know on another platform on voiceover. It's the Samantha voice. And that's the way I'm going to go here. Microphone so sleeping. I just checked my microphone status and it said it's sleeping, if you heard that. Microphone sleeping. And to do that, I have to do Alt Windows <laughs> M as in microphone. For J say, you can ask it. This is one of those things where with J dictate, you have to check the microphone. Okay. I can mute and unmute my microphone with control uh, Alt Windows F11. Okay. Alt Windows F11. And I'm going to do that. And you're going to hear a sound. Actually, I'm going to do it and then turn it back off so you can hear the sound. So there it goes. Uh, once it's on, I could also say, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. Uh -huh. okay? So once I wake it up, I can tell it to do that. The difference is with Jay say, I could do that at any time because it assumes, again, that you have little to no use of your hands. So that's mm -hmm. one of the differences. Open Word. Open Word. Desktop. Folder View. List View. Dragon. 7 of 68. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. Opening dash Microsoft Word. Document one dash Word. Edit. Hello, comma. I am just testing this, period. Is this happening? Hello, comma. I am Question just mark. testing this, period. Is this happening? Question mark. I believe it is, exclamation point. I believe it is, exclamation point. What do you think, Ian? Question mark. What you think, Ian? Question mark. Select testing. Selected. Testing. Select testing. Bold that. Bold that. Select Ian. Selected. Ian. Select Ian. Press Control B. Press Control B. Okay, Ian. Awesome. Uh, awesome. So I want to give a few ideas. As you guys saw, I have I was able to use the the, the dictation part, right, in the text in the beginning. And yep. um, I also JAWS can be set up that it talks after I pause. It can be set up where it won't talk until the end of a sentence mm. or the end of a paragraph. Okay? Cool. So Joe J dictate will let or J say will let you figure that out. I have it the standard. So really, if I pause too long, it starts talking. Now again, you guys see why you want the microphone and a headset because imagine that thing talking while I was talking. <laughs> Feed it right back. So <laughs> that is one thing I did. The other thing I did is I used commands. Ian, did you want to bring up some of those commands I used? Yeah. So, um, so as you heard, of course, you know, uh, Z used a, a command to, um, you know, to to turn you know, again to turn the microphone on or off. But um, uh, dictation specific commands. You may have heard Z select a specific word. So he wanted to bold the word testing. So he said, select testing. What that does, that tells Dragon, oh, find the word testing. It highlights it. It gives him various options. Of course, Z knew right what he wanted to do. So he said, bold that. Boom, it bolded it. He then said, select Ian. It 
then moved over to Ian and he, where he did, um, he uh, used his keyboard command, his keyboard emulation, right? He said, press control B, and just like he would you know, have done on the keyboard, pressing control B. But, but then again, Dragon does it for him. So of course it does the same thing where it, it bolds it. Yes. And as you can see, I, I, what Ian is basically telling you is there's sometimes there's more than one way to do almost everything. Right? Yes. Ian? Yes. And so I was able to do that. I could use selection commands if I can, you know, or I can ask it to move by words, move by characters, move by lines. I, I, I can do that if I know the commands already. Right. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there's a whole lot of documentation you want to work with and read. Right. Oh, um, yes. So. Um, there's that. One thing for J Dictate and J Say is you also have a help. So if you notice, I talked about uh, the key theme here, Ian, is the control, the Alt Windows key. Alt Windows M is microphone. Alt Windows F11 is toggle microphone on and off, right? Yep. Alt Windows H. Link to toggle the condition of the microphone. Press Alt plus Windows plus F11. Link to check the status of the microphone. Press Alt plus Windows plus M. Link to change the echoing of dictation, press Alt plus Windows plus E. Press repeatedly to so the echoing of dictation. Remember earlier I said you could change it to from phrase to sentence to whole paragraph. Yeah, the hot key right there. Heck, I, I don't do it much, so I don't even remember. But you know what I remember? Alt Windows H so I can look it up. Yeah, you know nice. I mean? And this is a virtual window for those who use JAW. So guess what? You know, I could select any of this and copy it for later if I want. Excellent. Right? You press repeatedly to move the link to hear correction choices when in the correction box press alt plus windows plus c press twice quickly to place the choices into the virtual viewer when inside the correction box press tab to move into the list of choices then up and down arrow to hear each option spoken and spelled yeah so there's a lot of stuff you can do um <laughs> uh, just a whole lot of things Right. Yes, Lots we do have a hand, we do have a hand up. Um, looks like Morgan has uh, their hand raised. Yes, hello. Um, I'm so sorry, voice was spelling at me. Um, I just have a quick question, actually, regarding the echo um, for J dictate. Mm -hmm. You did mention that you're able to um, change it from you know, echoing uh, sentences, words, paragraphs, etc. However, are you able to actually completely disable that? Yeah. Like, oh, you can. Okay, yeah. great. Because, you know, if you're sometimes print view. dictating, you don't always work. Echo dictation <laughs> sentences only. Echoing of dictation is disabled. Look at that. Oh, Boom. great. My phrase. Echo dictation sentences only. Echoing awesome. of dictation is disabled. Echo dictation so, phrase by phrase. Imagine this. I, I actually listen to the instructions and i did the alt windows e so it's it's it, it goes cycles through the three choices phrase by phrase sentence and off okay perfect yep. thank yes. you yeah because yeah, right. sometimes when you're when you're dictating right you want to just flow right it's all in your head you want to just get it out not have to you know pause and 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 you have it you know read to you you just want to flow you know get as much out as possible and then go back and read everything so yeah absolutely yes um, all right. Hello, I am just bottom enter. Options dialog. Quotes so escape. Hello, I. Hello and and, and blank blank. I'm going Microphone to, sleeping. Uh, let, let's let's try something else. We have a coworker, Ian. I'm going to call her out. For some reason, every dictation process cannot say her name correctly. Ah, okay. And her name is Anne, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. A N N E. I don't know why we can't, you know, whether it's, it's Siri or <laughs> it, it wants to do A and D. Right? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So um, we could add it, but here's another way to deal with it. Alt Windows equals. Okay, hold on. It would help if I hit the right keys. Alt Windows F10. I work with many individuals, period. I worked with Some many individuals, period. Include Ian, comma, Michael, comma, and... Some of these include Ian, comma, Michael, comma, and spell, spell, box ready, cap alpha, November, cap November alpha. echo, November, November echo, and doc, math content, I W O, blank, I W O R K, blank, hello, I, blank, 
math content. It, it, it did. I, th I think when you actually uh, kicked on the, the <laughs> math content window. It, uh, it, <laughs> I did the equal sign. Let's do that again. Yep. Sorry. Well, well, that, 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 uh, I could have said um, delete that, right? I could have, yep. but I'll do sure. this again. I have many coworkers, period. I have Some many coworkers, period. Ian, comma, Michael, comma, and. Some of these include Ian, comma, Michael, comma, and. Spell. Spell box ready. Cap Alpha November November Echo. Cap Alpha November November Echo. Document 1 dash word. I have many co workers. Some of these include Ian, Michael, and Anne. There it is, right? And then. But it actually didn't do the space. And it didn't. So yeah. I should have actually said, you know, uh, space bar. So sometimes yep. uh, because when they uh, to spell it, it didn't know to put the, the space after. So I should have said space bar before I said spell. Yeah, but, but that was a, an excellent example of when you encounter a word. A name, you know, names are notorious because, you know, we, there's all kinds of different spellings of names. And so sometimes it'll, when you say um, the word, um, you know, um, what, what's, what's a common name that has different spellings? Uh, Corey, right? Corey, right? C-O-R-Y, C-O-R-E-Y, um, C-O-R-I, right? Um, you, you can, you can uh, teach Dragon, you know, uh, the correct spelling by using the spell command and i should also add that the developer of jsay and jdictate adds a few extra special things in your dictionary ian mm. assistive technology so words Ooh. like braille note or jaws or any of those are already in your dictionary because oh, cool. the guy assumes that you're going to dictate that kind of stuff <laughs> text, right so uh, if you are because you he, he figures you're using assistive technology so as a little throw into the package for the j dictate and j say users you get those awesome awesome yeah. so, i think we're down to three minutes right bob okay. blank i have many blank, blank. enter okay. so i just i'm just gonna say this i would have loved to de demonstrate you could ask it to insert table and then you can arrow to choose your columns and rows. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you can go on to do other things. Now, when you do tables, Ian, you use data. So something else to, no to note, if, if you're primarily dictating a combination of text and numbers, you need to say the word numeral before the number. Uh, Otherwise, yes. it's going to write O-N-E instead of the number one. Yep. So something, again, technique, practice, and all that. Microphone sleep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Green sharing um, meeting control. Stop this. Okay. Hopefully uh, that gives you guys a, again practice, uh, preparation, and definitely know your stuff. And one thing we do is this is a really important part. Ian said we do uh, training and we sell the equipment, but here's a big one: we do the setup. That's and right. Setup is That's key. Right. <laughs> yep, yep. I do show a couple of hands raised. Do we have time, Bob, to hit those up? Yes. Let's go quickly. Okay. Looks like uh, I think Kit raised her hand first. Okay, a quick question. As you doing the dictation and you suddenly set a command and JAWS also repeat what it said, how does the system know when were you talking ever to dictate when is the command and did it repeat itself when JAWS is repeating what you just dictate? Oh, so so you you um uh, when, when Jaws you know um when Jaws announces what you just um you know reads the screen basically what reads where it's focused, Dragon does not then pick that up and, and write it again. Is that what you're asking, or or, or how yeah, does? that's one question. But well, when... okay. it's that's why you use a headset. That's right. But you that's didn't right. use a headset. Yes, so I did. We can hear it. So my question is, oh no, 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 no. Again, pick let, up oh, us. oh, I see. No, <laughs> let, let me let me say this. I'm using a headset. Okay, um, uh, Dr Dragon is not hearing me. I'm I'm sharing my audio to you, to you okay, guys. Okay, okay. You're but doing not... screen sharing. The screen yes, sharing. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's right. That's problem. right. That's yes, right. But Dragon can't hear it. It's only in my ear on the end of my computer. Okay, that's one question. And when you say uh, bold this, bold that, how come, how did the dragon know is a command, not a dictation? That's a good thing because mm -hmm. you usually pause between dictation. So as long as you pause and you say something that's a command, it's going to realize that it's a command. That's that's the, the, the big deal. 
Yeah. Sometimes it's all about, you know, if let's say taking the word bold that and you put that in a sentence, you know, I wish I could bold that next time I write that sentence. Mm -hmm. Right. If you say it that way, it's just going to write bold that as dictation. But if you say, um, you know, just, you know, if you select the word could, and then you paused, pause, yes, you said it. so you do have to be careful with that. Okay. Yes. Yep. And, yep. And there is something else. If someone needs to exclusively do dictation, Dragon even has options to say only use dictation for the session. It's yes. possible because there will be a time that there's nothing more frustrating to occasionally, you know, that ha you have to keep that in mind. I have to write lesson notes where I talk about selecting and cutting and copying and pasting text. I have to <laughs> link it to other words prior to that part of the sentence so it would dictate the text versus do the commands. Because if I start the dictation with a command, it will do the command. That's the answer. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it, oh, it all comes down to training. It all comes down to training. Yeah, thank you. Yep, uh, Tom. I'll talk with you two minutes. Okay. Hello. Oh. Yeah, you, can can you, yeah, it's Tom here. Can you comment on, because at present I'm the Zoom text user as it moved to the JAWS Fusion. What about this setup with Zoom text? Um, yeah, so so Zoom text is, uh, you know, um, if you're a Zoom text user, you can definitely use uh, a Dragon. You don't need uh, the J Dictate or JSA program. Now, if you if, if you use the speech component of Zoom text, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So if if you are a speech user, boy, how would that that I don't have many. I don't I, think you. They, yeah, I, I I would. Yeah, J Dictate and JSA is optimized for the JAWS part. Yes, so you would yes. really want to go Fusion if you really need speech feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it gets problematic as as a you know because because again, optimized for that. Yes, exactly, exactly. So Zoom text, Dragon, okay, but really Jaws mm -hmm. Fusion, J say dictate. Yes, but I, I do have some Zoom text users who also use Dragon, uh, but they are they don't use the speech component of Zoom yes. text, um, and so. You know, uh, with that, again, I think the key would be, you know, utilizing that headset. That way the audio isn't, you know, cranking out of the speakers and then being picked up by the microphone. So there there, there are some, some ways around it. Um, uh, but again, it, it, it's it's not optimized for it. I mean, for what it's worth, if you are OK with dictating and then, you know, uh, have mouse echo on and you want to hover over it and have uh, Zoom text read it, that's fine. It's just it's not going to do it automatically like the way you just saw. <laughs> sure, sure. OK, OK, OK. Uh, and then I thought I heard Farhang had a question. Yes, I have a question. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, when you disable. Uh, disable J dictate that when you're reading the sentences and as Morgan asked, can you completely uh, shut it up? And you did, what did you do? <laughs> disable it. Mm -hmm. Once you read the whole paragraph right, and you want to get it read, how do you do that then? Oh, so 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 you know when you're when you're dictating and you choose you know disable so you can just focus on dictating and then when you're done dictating you want to go back and read it. So Correct. you yeah so you would just use you know your your various you know JAWS read commands right your your read all you command press or control or, up arrow to read yeah. the entire paragraph press control. Yep. basically you rely on the commands you already know but instead of pressing it you can ask it to press it for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So again, I, I, I hear a little bit of disappointment, but you do need to learn how to use JAWS still. You can't get away from it if you're a JAWS user. That's right. That's right. That. Okay? That's right. You, you, now you need to know how to verbally issue those commands. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. All right. Uh -huh. So you cannot dictate to J dictate and say read paragraph? You can, but keep in mind that they're going to use the dragon voice so it won't be the same necessarily the voice you're using for your jaws voice because now you're asking dragon to do it yeah dragon does have the ability to read back text yeah, in its own it voice voice yep that's fine that's fine yeah yeah, yeah. well you can totally. do that it is yep. possible as well but i'm saying but 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 you're also not going to move the cursor that way so mm -hmm. uh, i would consider both is what i'm saying yeah okay All so right. it is Got that. 
It's eleven thirty four right now. All right, and sorry. So we're gonna need to wrap we'll, things up here. So yeah. 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 Thank, you, <laughs> thank you, everybody. It was wonderful yep. hearing your instructions. Thank oh, you. Uh -huh. Sorry. Thank you, Farhan. Um, okay, so uh, I want to thank uh, both Ian and Z for being um, guests on today's Tech It Out with Vista. We really appreciate uh, you telling us all about Dragon and J Dictate and, and the whole suite of things. So we, we <laughs> do appreciate that. Maybe we'll have you back again sometime and we can go through um, things in a little bit more, more detail. But uh, awesome. anyways, thank you so much for joining us today and everybody who has uh, been, been part of the uh, Call today. Thank you for joining as well. And thank you, you Bob. A great day. Our our next presentation uh, will be on the Victor Reader Stream three, and so that'll be the first Friday in June. Um, we'll have some okay. from um, human humanware with us here. So, alrighty. Well, thank you, everybody, again. Thank and you. We'll see you next time.